In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at the invoke function provided by the underscore JS code library. Now to make use of underscore JS, we need, we need to make sure that we include a reference to it, um, like I've done here on this web page. I'm referring to it from a common CDN, or you can download it to your local project and reference it from there. Now the invoke function basically allows us to execute a function against every item of a collection. And how it does this is kind of interesting. It actually invokes it as though the function is a property of that item. And so I'll show you how you can get access to the value and then manipulate it in the function and return a value back in a new array or a new collection. So to get started here, we're actually going to create a list of numbers. We'll use the range function provided by underscore to quickly produce a list of numbers. All right. And if we do console.dir nums, we're going to see that we have a list of numbers 0 through 20 or 0 through 19. So we have 20 numbers. What I'd like to create is a function that will basically allow me to, uh, to, to raise each of these numbers to a certain power. So I'm going to come up here to the, I'm up above my code, I'm going to define a new function. And we'll call this function function power. And uh, it's going to accept one parameter, which is going to be our exponent. Now, what's interesting is this, is that I'm actually going to use the this variable as the value of the item in my array. So this represents the value of the item that we're going to be iterating over with our invoke function. So now I have exponent like this. So we'll take our, our value to this to, to the power of this exponent value. And then down here, I'm going to come in here and say uh, var result is equal to underscore dot invoke. Then I'm going to pass in my number array. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to list my function power. And then I'm going to come in here and square it. So there we go, and I'm going to type in result, and I'm going to save it, and reload my page. And now I have my array of 20 items, and we expand this out. We're going to see now I have 0, 1, 4, 2, 9, 16, 25. So basically what this did was it iterated over our array of numbers. It took our number and then called the power function as a property of that number, populating it with the populating the value of this with our number and then um, and then passing in our exponent uh, here and then we're making use of it right here now the way it does this is internally underscore actually uses the apply method so the apply method is one of those methods that comes on a function object that basically allows you to specify the value of this as the first parameter and then you can specify the remaining parameters um, as an array so down here in our invoke, every parameter that we, were to, that, we, that we would add to this invoke method call would be basically another parameter that would be passed into here. Now in this case, we have our one parameter that we're using for power, but you could pass in as many parameters as, as you would like. Also, you don't have to pass in any parameters at all. You could simply use it like that. Of course, this wouldn't work with our power function, but for other functions, you may not need to pass in additional parameters. So as you can see, this invoke function is actually pretty powerful for allowing you to execute a function over each item in your, in your collection and then producing a new, a new array with those resulting values.